Monroe to Voyager. Where's my team, Tuvok? They are safe on Voyager. We are having difficulty transporting you through the anti-lepton interference. We had to send your pattern back to the Borg vessel. Where in the Borg vessel? The Borg Central Plexus. Your primary objective is to avoid alerting them to your presence. Do Borg even lift? Apparently, yes, they do. Too late. Oh, those chiseled abs. Much as he way. Recalibrating transporters. Forget it. Get Voyager out. We are staying until you are on board. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. not logical. Go before they regenerate the dampening field. Let's see how long you adapt without your adaptive nodes. Yeah, your adaptive nodes. Yeah. Damn it. So, I'm basically just uh, using these little regeneration things, and I'm just modulating them, so it, it basically weakens him. It makes him, like, super easy, <laughs> as you can see. How the, the camera cuts off his head. Okay, Cause like I'm protected here, so why the fuck not do this? Why why not modulate all this shit? Am I missing him? Oh, there we go. So now he's gonna like run at me slowly. Bro, I I need to take out this shit again. It's really sad when you just did nothing the entire boss fight. Activision design everyone. Assimilation is futile. Uh. Voyager to Monroe. The interference is gone. Prepare for transport. Okay, Voyager. Let's go home. Uh, no more cringeworthy lines, please. Please. Please, no more. I, I don't think I could take it. Well, apparently my accuracy was 40%. Actually, the, the phaser is the one that really uh, fucks with that.
a satisfactory outcome, Starfleet is reasonably pleased. Reasonably? Here are your new assignments. Telsia, you will command the security force on the USS Dallas. Chell... You're breaking up the hazard team? Precisely. Chell, you are assigned to the research outpost in the Guernica system. Not even a starship? Precisely. Monroe, I've assigned you to teach small group tactics here at Starfleet Academy. You also assigned Tuvok to teach math? Monroe is nursemaiding cadets? Precisely. That is his best use. Saving lives is no longer useful? Read Janeway's report. She said the hazard team is a vital asset. Precisely. Vital to the Delta Quadrant. Your so-called hazard team relied on non-regulation tactics. And no so-called star bases for backup. Precisely. Here in the Alpha Quadrant, traditional away teams are sufficient. The hazard team takes missions that are too hot for traditional away teams. There is no hazard team. Oh, yes, there is. And it outnumbers you. What? What was that? Everyone calm down. Stemmons, what Captain Janeway prized was our ability to improvise flexible tactics for any situation. Precisely. Such extemporaneous tactics are no longer appropriate. You should be grateful we have a place for you at all. Why aren't you grateful for a chance to relax after seven long years of strife? I don't understand this at all. Precisely. You don't understand. At all. Just talking shit to the fucking Admiral there. Aren't we, like, breaking rank or something? I can't believe he's disbanding the Hazard Team. Come on, Monroe. Just give me five minutes alone with him. So you can be thrown into the brig? Chang's right. We have to do something. How do incompetent people end up with such important jobs? Maybe we can get him fired for being a hack. Whoa. Even Chell wasn't this bloodthirsty fighting the Borg. I'm going to file an appeal with Starfleet Command. Someone in the chain of command will listen to reason. And if that doesn't work? Then we make some hard choices. Damn. Well then, hey. Telsia. I'm going to file the appeal with Starfleet Command right now. All right, you go do that. I'm going to talk to Chell and Chang. Now they're just waving their arms around. Chell, so do you Lieutenant really think Monroe, Telsia has a chance of getting Starfleet? We have a visitor waiting for you at the main entrance. I just got bored of listening to Chell mid conversation. It happens. There's there's a visitor at the main entrance for me. Ground level. It could be anybody. Anybody at all. Oh, well, the main entrance is over here, I think. Greetings, Lieutenant. Tuvok, what are you doing here? I had time for a brief stopover on my way to Vulcan. Congratulations on your new assignment. Thanks, but I don't want to leave active duty for teaching. There are few jobs more important than teaching. But I will explain your plight to my colleagues. Thanks, Tuvok. I just think I can be of better use out there. The Academy offers contact with many prominent people. Demonstrations of talent and initiative do not go unnoticed. Commander Tuvok, please report to Launch Pad 2. It was an honor to serve with you. The honor was mine, Lieutenant Monroe. Live long and prosper. Tuvok. Lieutenant it was Monroe, good to see you again, please Lieutenant. Report to the headmaster's you will make a office. fine instructor here at the Academy. Alright, now we gotta go back up to the headmaster's office. Uh, where, oh wait, actually we can see where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go this way. Can you believe it? Voyager returned after being gone all those years. I wonder what it was like being stranded so far from home all that time. I'd love to sit down and talk with them about their adventures. Yeah, they must be in demand all over the Federation. 
An officer from that ship must have his pick of assignments. After all that excitement, I don't know how they could ever go back to normal duties. Hey ladies, I was ahead of the hazard team. <coughs> no? Okay. Uh, I guess that's not that impressive here. No, nobody's impressed with my plights. And they're just kind of looking at each other. Oh look, there's a little fish thing. So this is, uh, Earth? Oh, oh no, this is Starfleet Command, whatever. It's it's still Earth. Man, these buildings look so so boring. But I, I can't I can't explore here. It's not letting me. Uh, Cadet. Hello, sir. She doesn't even know who the fuck I am. Wow, that's 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 terrible. I did all that shit like like saving the, the galaxy or whatever. And no, uh, nobody I'm I'm a nobody. Oh, that's okay. I'll just headmaster's office. Yeah, we're we're going there. I'm gonna I'm gonna file a complaint. I swear that it's all right. You have my complete permission. I really want to see what it's like. You have to understand. Most Betazoids hate using telepathy on those who don't have it. In the past, it's led to war and death. Far too many of us ended up in concentration camps, placed there by those who feared our powers. We've learned to respect the privacy of other races. Learning the value of other people's privacy was a major step forward for us. We've learned that all people have a right to think freely without coercion or outside scrutiny. But if you're really determined, we can give it a try. I would be honored to have you read my mind. But only for a moment. So? That's sweet. Okay, whatever. No, nope, can't open that one. Atrium. Nope. Headmaster. Hey. Lieutenant Monroe reporting, sir. Ah, good to meet you, Lieutenant. I have your teaching assignment. You'll be instructing the cadets in small unit tactics. It's not care, I'm just <laughs> jumping on her head. Dude, this is a sweet office you have. There's no windows here. You know, even the Borg had fucking windows. How's that make you feel? God. Tell you to Monroe. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Starfleet's answered our petition. Well, that didn't take long. Ground level. In the in the future, they actually care about petitions. Ah. <gasps> uh. Sir, I wish I could chat right now, Lieutenant. Perhaps later. He doesn't even know who I am. You even know who you're talking to? Okay, can't go over there. I have to go this way. What are your questions, Cadet? Why did you put so much emphasis on Cochrane's theories? Cochrane provides the foundation for all warp technology. His theories open space to humanity and still compose the basis for Federation ship technology. But his theories are almost 300 years old. It's hard to imagine a time without warp technology, or that humans were ever that backwards. They weren't backward, just unenlightened. That's our point, sir. That culture created Zephyrin Cochrane. So how could his work still have relevance? Fail to understand the past, and you can never see the future. I have an easier time with Cochrane's theories than with the early Vulcan warp technology. The work of Dr. Leia Brahms is a lot more accessible. While Dr. Brahms' work is necessary reading and very informative, you still need to maintain a fundamental understanding of Dr. Cochrane's work. I still think it's a waste of time. We'll never really break new ground by relying on ancient theories. And we'll never make progress without building on the past. But we've gone far past Vulcan technology. Every race in the Federation makes its contribution. Can we at least study someone from this century? Or this planet? Remember, ex astris scientia. From the star's knowledge. Whatever. I like how these guys are wearing, like, space pajamas. Shit's great. I can I apparently can go in the water here, but nowhere else, so, you know. Oh, look, there's a fish right here. Oh, shit. I can't do anything with it. Oh, I have a tricorder. Oh, it's a... I can't... Kohaku carp imported from Japan. Oh, cool. Japanese fish. Let's look, let's look at the fit. That is what we're gonna do, fucking... Okay, fine. Isn't, like, scanning people like an invasion of their privacy? There's, like, a creepy guy in the bushes. Actually, let me go in the bushes right here. Hey, 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 hey. 
This is like a this not like a, a pedo looks in the future right here. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's let's go. Talk to Um There's a really funny line here. Let me let me just save it just so I get that one. Starfleet Command declined to hear our appeal. I see. What are you going to do? What can I do? Resign. And that will get the team back how? It'll show Stemmons the price of stupid decisions. It'll show Stemmons he can bully us out of Starfleet. We end up paying the price, not him. Until the Borg pay a little visit, or the Romulans, or... The Dallas is a good ship. At least you're back in action. If I accept. What if we both resign? At least we can be together. Uh, oh, okay, at end of the line. So, I, I obviously, I get like a dialogue choice here. So I get like, I, I won't let you throw your away your career for me. Because there's actually like romantic interest or something. It's, I don't know, it's kind of cringe worthy too. It won't work. We both need Starfleet or else we'll both go stir crazy. And then, <laughs> I like this one. Look, Telsia, we've had some fun, but now it's over. And I love her reply. Look, Telsia, we've had some fun, but now it's over. Literally says nothing. Just, just fucking looks at me. All right. Two years later. Romulan sneak attack. Who the fuck are you? Apparently, a lot has happened in the two years. Federation troops in here. There's another. Just go handle them. So there's reload animations. I, I for all this stuff like that. Um. And also we have the new enhanced compression rifle. Which pretty much works like that. Cover me while I open the door. Halt. I like the reload on this one. It's so it's so fast and unnecessary. The door is malfunctioning. We need to find a way past it and repair it from the other side. We'll go down over here. No, that's not a thing I can go into. I need to figure out how to Gordon Freeman this thing. Oh, well, that was over here. That's where it's pointing me towards. You know what? You know what? This is a job for the tricorder. It apparently says something. How much does this guy weigh? Holy shit, he's 120 kilograms. Well, let's see. Is there a a service dock? This should lead to the next chamber. I will open the docks. Later, Brohan. Open it. The service docks are open. I will activate the door when you reach the other side. Man, they don't call us the Hazard Team for nothing. Spires and shit. Oh god. Well, I'm dead. So apparently I think this thing has a pattern of doing multiple bursts. I'm kind of afraid of it now. Okay, and then it does it again. Then, nope, one more time. We can go now. Alright, you can you can finish up. Yeah, that's it, we win. We win the pyro mini game. Now we can head over here. Now we need to stealth this. I could just use the phaser. The phaser is actually pretty fun. I mean, we're literally melting them. Oh, wait, I can melt them with this too. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna just try quarter this. I should really turn off uh, structural integrity view. Just so everything doesn't turn red. Oh, look, a pipe minigame. Now we're playing Bioshock. Kick ass. Well done. Drop your weapon and surrender. Oh, God, he hit me. The question is which one is actually better? Look at this ballsy motherfucker. Apparently does not choose very good cover. Uh, yeah, let's, let's use the enhanced one just because that's cool as hell. Yeah, 
You know, they have like invulnerability frames in the beaming end. It's awful. I think we're done here. We got all of them. Oh god. <laughs> the elevator. That didn't take a whole lot. Alright, press the button. You see, in this game they actually have fingers. Look at that. Look at that. Finger technology. Dude, this guy's huge. He's holding his gun like below my head. Oh god, this again. Just waiting for the beam in. Nope. Hey, look. Corbin, execute hazard maneuver Monroe Alpha 3. With pleasure. Man, I fucking suck at this. Get over here. Got God, I would, I would, I would guess like something named after me would be like bring up the rail guns. Finally, fuck, fuck it. I'm going back to this weapon. Look, look what he's doing over there. He's just chill. What the fuck? No, I'm dead. <laughs> Corbett, execute hazard maneuver Monroe Alpha Three. This is the maneuver where I switch my weapon. and He just baits them. With. There you go, see? No, Monroe Alpha 3 always works. I need oh, it's going here. No, I can't. Fuck! Why would I ever use the melee weapon here? That thing's awful. Switch in very hard. Thanks, Corban. Good work. Uh, Lieutenant Monroe, this is Captain Jean-Luc Picard. I enjoyed observing your holodeck session. Very impressive. Yes, thank you, Monroe. And now we're very sorry, but the captain is on a very tight schedule. I'm sure the headmaster's reception can wait a few minutes. Lieutenant Monroe, I was wondering where you trained. The Delta Quadrant. I beg your pardon? I led the hazard team on Voyager, sir. Hazard team? Yes, the hazard team was... Completely superfluous. Excuse me? Superfluous? Precisely. Federation space is so completely different from the lawless Delta Quadrant. My research clearly shows that Starfleet captains do not need hazard teams. I see. And are you a Starfleet captain? Well, no, but... The challenges we face on the outer edges of Federation space are not so different from what Voyager faced in the Delta Quadrant. I could use an elite force of tactical officers. But... Tell me, Lieutenant, do you ever think about going back on active duty? Every second of my life. I'll talk to your commanding officer. Perhaps I can arrange a transfer. Thank you, sir. Draw up a list of personnel and cadets you would like on a new hazard team. I'm sure Mr. Stemmons can make the arrangements. I... Uh, well... Precisely. And that's the end of that one. The old TV's coming back together. I guess that's all the time we got for today, so later. Look, Telsia, we've had some fun, but now it's over. Precisely. Precisely.